Hey again, everyone. We're uh, going back on the MAME today. We're going back to the uh, to the good old MAME emulator, multiple arcade machine emulator. And before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and do a shout out to um, a guy by the name of David Tilton. You best know him for his account uh, that he did have on here for quite a long time. Um, it was called My Voice Impressions. Um, before that, it was Impressions by Dave, and it was something else, I think, in the... Uh, in 2008 and 2009, but Dave put up some uh, some really good uh, classic impressions. He did Rod Serling really well. He did Columbo, uh, Peter Falk. Um, I'm trying to think what else he did. Pretty much everyone in in like 60s to 70s television. He did a bunch of great reviews, um, and he had several several subscribers. He never really got a lot of views, but he always had several subscribers. Um, he was also a special guest on the David Phillips Show, which is um, which is an online. Uh, I think it's on online. It might even be on the radio stations. I don't know. Um, you know, it's a regular radio show where they, uh, where pretty much he did a couple of impressions based on whatever they were talking about. So he did. He went on there, and I think he did Rod Serling actually. So um, uh, best of luck to you, Dave, in the future. Hope to see you on YouTube again uh, in the near future, man, because you really did some. Uh, you really did some pretty good reviews there. Okay, so that is kind of my announcement slash uh, shout out of the day here. Let's go ahead and uh, what am I doing here? We're going to be taking a look at another MAME game today, as I already told you. Retro video games. MAME games. The MAME. We'll be taking a look at a basketball game that was out. Uh, I think it would help if I actually Oop. have to initiate the uh, PS3 controller here. Not to worry. Mm, better work right now. Yeah, as I there we go. As I was saying, we're going to be taking a look at a basketball game today. It was uh, an original uh, basketball arcade game from the 80s, I think. Might even be the 90s. No, probably the 90s. Graphics are 90-ish. Stay. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, a game called NBA Jam. 1993. Yeah, I thought they looked 90-ish. Okay. It's released by Midway. Hopefully I can get some sound going here. There we go. And I, like I said, I play this in several arcades. And they have kind of, you can enter in your own initials here. If we were actually in a real arcade system, they'd have your, uh, you'd have, if you, or I mean, I'm sorry, if, if this game actually saved the data, they would have remembered my record. But, uh, play with the bulls here. Uh, one of the big early 90s uh, basketball arcade games. Like I said, I've seen this in several arcades here in the Midwest. So let's see what we got here. It's a Midway game. Midway always made pretty good games in the early 90s. I don't know if they still do, but they were they were big in the mid early 90s. There we go. Oh, sweet. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, so we're on the board there. Oh, a nice steal. You pretty much have three different buttons. You have a turbo button. You have a, um, you know, a button that allows you to uh, strip the ball from your opponent. I'm not sure exactly what the technical term is. Oh, there we go. And then you have a button, and then you have offensive buttons, which pretty much it's the same three buttons used for defense. Only they they're used to block, turbo, and um, and shoot. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, you know what can I say for presentation? It's uh, for the time, it's pretty good, I suppose. Working scoreboard, I always liked. I liked to look at technical technicalities like a working scoreboard and a. Uh, Crowd detail. I'm not sure the crowd detail is really that impressive, but uh, I guess it's all right for the time. Oh, crap. Oh, man, nice. See, I'm going to cut this kind of short today. There really isn't much to say about this. I. Uh, Not sure this is really a classic, but like I say, it has been featured in several arcades. Doesn't necessarily make it a classic. It makes it pretty good, though, I think. P 
people some people have to like it for it to be in the arcades all over the uh, all over the Midwest. So, <sighs> so what am I gonna go ahead and give NBA Jam? Uh, I think we're looking at a three out of five. Like I say, nothing terribly special. This is uh, the graphics are pretty good for the time. Like I say, really reflect the uh, the video game revolution in the '90s. If that's even the right word for it. Uh, so that's going to go ahead and do it for our review here. Oh, nice. Nice shot. Um, yeah, three out of five stars for this. Uh, just thought I'd put this up here just to uh, just to show you that this emulator is capable of emulating not just uh, classic arcade games, but uh, pretty much anything and everything in between. So we're going to go ahead and give this a solid three out of five. Uh, replay value moderate. Graphics uh, good to very good. And um, somewhat entertaining to play, I think. So we're going to go ahead and give it a 3 out of 5. That's my official review of uh, NBA Jam for the arcade emulator for the MAME. Uh, talk to you guys uh, Talk to you guys later. Again, um, research, look for uh, David Tilton on, uh, on the Patrick Phillips show. He had a really cool impression there. And uh, uh, God bless you, Dave. And um, hope to see you back on YouTube soon again. Hope to see you guys soon again, too. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.